about checkers, and it was solved. Um, and I'm Sienna Lee Shai. So I'm going to talk about just some information on checkers, and then some history of it, including Jonathan Schaefer, we're going to call him. And then also, like, why are we learning that checkers was solved? So, checkers. I'm pretty sure all of you have at least played it once. But it's played on an 8x8 board, and there's red pieces, or, and sometimes they're white and black pieces. So they're just two opposite color pieces. And they can move diagonally, and when there's, like, say this opponent was here, and that one was there, you can jump it and take their piece. And you just want to uh, get all the pieces captured, and if you go to the opposite side, you can get them to king it, and then they just put one on top and they can move forward and backwards then, instead of just forward. And so to win this game, there's roughly five times 10 to the 20th possible positions. And if you want to learn more about like how to play checkers, I put a video at the bottom. So it has plenty of different names. And in Europe, it's called drought, except for a lot of times they also call it drafts, which it did videos just call it two different names. So uh, in 3000 BC, they discovered some variations in Iraq, and that is a variation that is most commonly used. And then in Egypt, they also created one, but it was on a five by five board, and it was created, in, or they found um, traces of it in 1400 BC. And in 1500s, there were books written about the game, in 1756, an English mathematician wrote a treatise on draughts. And I looked up to see if I could find the name of the English mathematician, but I couldn't find it. And then in 1847, the first championship award was given out for checkers. And then in 1952, the first checkers programs were created by a computer. And they were created by Arthur L. Samuel. And then we come to Jonathan Schaefer. He is a computer scientist, and in 2007, he proved that checkers is a no-win game. So it's like tic-tac-toe, where you can get a cat's game where no one wins. Um, it took 18 years for him to prove it, and um, they were using computers this entire time. So it took 18 years with computers to solve it, making checkers the most complicated game ever solved. And so then a random fact, this is from the Pickover book. In 1994, Schaefer's program called Chinook played the world champion Marion Tinsley to a series of draws. And then Tinsley died of cancer eight months later. Uh, some say that Schaefer, or uh, chided Schaefer for accelerating the death due to the stress that Chinook placed on Tinsley. And that is a picture of Tinsley. So how was it solved? It took them, or they considered that there was 39,000, or billion, thousand billion arrangements of 10 pieces or fewer. And then they just kept going and determining if black or red would win, and finding out that uh, they use algorithms to find out that there was um, no win. And then it's important just because it represented a major benchmark in the field of artificial intelligence, which often involved complex problem solving strategies for computers. And then those are my references, and I forgot the pickover book. And then the picture sources. <laughs> 